What's up, Pian Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this portable stainless steel backpacking. You know, it's a wood, a wood burning uh, pocket stove. You've seen some of these things before. I showed you one earlier, but uh, this one is kind of a slightly different design. So I thought I'd open it up here, try it out, and then if you stay tuned all the way to the end, if you're a good panda, uh, you know there might be some awesome news uh, somewhere for Pian Dudes and Dudettes out there. So here it is. It comes in this. Uh, little like uh, athletic jersey mesh pouch it's actually kind of thick and it's really pretty small look at this i mean this is this is as big as the thing is so in terms of portability and it's not that heavy you know uh so you could definitely take this with you on a little trip and here is how it comes you know this is brand new out of the package we have looks like the top burner here which kind of looks like an upside down bowl and then they have these little stands these little feet that kind of pivot out they're actually pretty stiff you can see here they're just uh kind of rivets in there and so you know one of the things i was worried about is how sturdy would these be um you know when you put something on it you don't have to worry about them flopping in and out but you, you definitely have to kind of put a little force to move them but then they have some serrations here so and then uh the top isn't exactly flat so there's some points so it's actually if you put a pot or something on top of it it's going to hold it up you know um, on those three points so you don't have to worry about it maybe sliding around but even these serrations if it's a little smaller should hold it in place pretty well and then it's kind of just like i said a, a ring with a bowl shape and then inside we have uh, looks like a little a little catch there we also have in here wrapped up in Plastic too. Uh, this is kind of the uh, the bottom support inside the stove. I think this is where like your paper and wood will sit, and it'll kind of suspend it above the ground. And I think we have two pieces here. Cool. You have this, which is the base, which is kind of just steel band with the portholes all the way around to let air in, and then this is kind of the middle section where air. You know, this is like a dual layer so air will travel up this um, through the bottom here up this channel and then kind of be burned as it comes out of these vents so the flame kind of shoots up and you get a nice air uh, into the package so I think this goes on top of that just like that and then this goes inside falls all the way to the bottom there so now we're getting pretty pretty close uh, and then this just goes on top now maybe saying what about this piece um, I think, you know, this is maybe if you're using like alcohol, so you just fill that up and light it. And so that's going to sit right below your, you know, your pan or your pot that you're putting on there. So I think in the case of the wood, we're not going to need that. It's just going to be kind of an open pit like this. So let's go ahead and get this set up and start uh, burning some. Alrighty. So I didn't have any newspaper, so I just have kind of packaging paper here. I'm going to wad this up. It's a little bit heavier and probably does not burn take to a flame quite as easily as newspaper itself, but it's what I'm going to have to use in, in an outdoor survival camping situation. Maybe you don't even have a choice. So we're going to put that in there and then I'm going to break up some sticks here and just kind of fill this thing up. I don't really need to cook anything. I'm just kind of been pretty impressed with these things in the past. So I just want to see if it works and what that looks like. And then like I said, if we get it working pretty well, you know, maybe we can hook up a pan dude out there and get you guys off the grid with a little wood burning stove. With this wood burning stove, maybe. So let's go ahead and load this bad boy up and then get it lit up. So let's see if we can get this thing lit up here. Try to light in a few different places. I'm a little bit of a pyromaniac, so I kind of take a lot of pleasure in it sometimes. As I watch things burn, hopefully this paper will take a flame. It's already a little hard to light. So obviously you can see it does work and what's interesting here is these little uh the holes here that allow the air to flow up through the um the the side walls here and out to the middle uh do a couple of things that are <laughs> really are quite impressive you know we've got a little wind blowing this way so 
um, you know, it's kind of pushing those jets, but they absolutely do kind of create these flame jets, which kind of focus that heat right in the center here. So if I were to go ahead and take this top now, and uh, you know, the top that holds up the fan, and go ahead and throw it on there, that that's gonna even focus, I think, the, the flame a little bit better. You know, put it right in the, the direct middle of your pot or your pan. Um, and even what I've noticed is that putting sometimes this, this top on here actually even helps with the combustion. But I'm really impressed. I, you know, I just threw a handful of sticks like this, just what I had laying around in the yard here. Broke them up, threw them in there with a piece of paper uh, that wasn't even ideal. You know, certainly I think you would want to use newspaper. But it certainly fired up. Uh, you know, it's actually putting out quite a bit of heat. You can see there, like I said, the jets of flame there. Um, uh, I kind of even moved my camera, which you saw, just to kind of get it out of the way because it was putting out so much heat. So I definitely think you could cook on this bad boy. Um, you know, the cool thing about it is in terms of fuel, if you're somewhere arboreal, uh, temperate, you're probably going to pl find plenty of uh, dried twigs, leaves, things like that. So you don't even necessarily need to carry paper. I'm sure you could find enough tinder uh, and sticks like this just laying on the ground to uh, fuel this bad boy up. And now, even as you can see here, the flame is dying down. It is not going out because the bottom here has quite a bit of coal. So I don't want to melt my camera, but we do have red coals there on the bottom. And so, you know, that's going to continue to cook and burn and, and burn the wood that's in there. And I could certainly throw in some more things here and have those, you know, continue to fuel that fire but um, obviously I wanted to eventually go out here instead of spending the whole night out here but one of the things that I wanted to point out here is that if you wanted a stove like this if you've been shopping around for it um, I can understand it that you you like this because you know these are 20 30 bucks um, but they are very well made they absolutely do work Ooh, a lot of heat coming out of that bad boy um, and I think it would be a good companion for you on your trip especially if you maybe have a primary gas stove for convenience but want something like this so that uh, you know if you get stuck somewhere you you can you can cook even without uh, fuel now that being said I want to hook you up I'm gonna hook you up in a janky ghetto way though I'm gonna hook you up with this little bad boy here I'll clean it up a little bit but I just want to <laughs> don't consider it used consider it tested tested and panda approved so if you want this stove go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel sharing these videos helps me out too man the the more views we get um, the better off uh, the better off we are here so we can get cooler and cooler stuff get more visibility get people to reach out to us and maybe have some vendors hook us up but like sh uh, subscribe and then comment below any comment will do just put in the comment the country that you live in because this giveaway is only gonna be open to people in the US and Canada uh, that's where I can afford to ship it to um, but if you live somewhere else you can tell me where you live it's just uh, gonna kind of make you ineligible for the giveaway here but um, then on the uh, first Saturday in May I will go ahead and pick a winner and so your spring camping trips uh, will be accompanied by this awesome wood-burning stainless steel stove, Peter Von Banda. Out!